Thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight to Life Sciences of Washington, How to Eat to Live, Nature's V, and Nature's V Autoimmune Disease Foundation channel. Tonight, we're doing a product review of the dietary supplement IB100 made by uh, LSOW and distributed by natures-v.com, your immunotherapy company. We have with us Mrs. Izebe Muhammad, who has volunteered to tell us her story. It was such a emotional and uplifting story this afternoon. I asked her would she come on in short notice to share it with us. So, um, sister, how are you this evening? I'm doing very well, sir. Thank you so much for having me uh, on this at this time. Well, it's our pleasure because, you know, we always want to report good news. So um, please explain to our listening audience what you have experienced using the dietary supplement IB100 in your own words. Take your time, explain the entire story and the beauty of their end, which you expressed to me today. The floor is yours. Thank you, Thank you so much, uh, Brother Eric, for giving me the opportunity to share um, with the audience, this um, very interesting thing that has happened uh, with me. Um, so. Okay. Uh oh, what happened? No, your video just went out. Just, just to hit your camera video, and it should come right back up. Okay. All right. Oh. So that's on your phone. It should come right back up. We can still hear you. Okay. No, but well, we want, we would like to see you if you don't mind. Absolutely. So if you uh, if your phone locked up, you can unlock it. Okay, just a second, sir. Not a problem. What is it? Can there you see me now? I do. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Excuse well, you know, me. It's, it's, it's electronics and, you know, things happen and we're, we're not in the place where we can be in the studio any longer. We have to do these things the best way we can. But, yes, we do. <laughs> so, um, sister, go right ahead and then tell us your story. Thank you so much. So back in 2018, my um, family um, and I... Um, Kind of had a conversation about something that was um, that I was having a, like a real challenge with. Um, I wasn't exactly sure where it came from or um, exactly why things were happening the way they were, but um, I was experiencing clearly experiencing some health challenge. Um, it manifested itself in mood springs, mood swings. Um, it manifested itself in um, kind of uh, fatigue. It manifested itself in just low energy all around and kind of a general sense of like heaviness. Um, and so I guess I started at 2018. Let's go back to 2016. 2016 is when I realized that something was going on. I was feeling great. Something was going on though. Um, I was, I, I kind of felt on my neck at one point and in feeling on my neck, I felt a, like something that felt like, like a, a hard uh, nodule or something. And it felt like it was swollen on my neck. Um, and so it was odd because when I looked at it, I didn't really see anything different but I realized that it was something odd happening. So I touched on it and um, you know, decided that maybe it's best that I go to a doctor. Um, and so when I went to the doctor in 2016, I had a biopsy just to kind of see what was going on. And they told me that I had some issues with my thyroid. Um, and so, um, they they said that my thyroid was actually working 100%. There was no sign of cancer. It was just, you know, I needed to take a little, make sure that I increased my iodine and I would be fine. 
Well, by 2018, the, the goiter had increased. Um, it had gotten bigger and noticeably bigger. And so um, that was like a real challenge. It was, um, it was, a, it was very tough. And so uh, again, I went back to the doctor um, in the beginning of 2018. They said, hey, your thyroid is working at 100%. Um, so there's no need for medication. Increase your, uh, your uh, iron, uh, excuse me, increase your iodine and um, you should be fine. Make sure you get, you know, that you're getting the right amount of exercise, that you're getting sunlight. And so, um, uh, but by that time, the, the, the goiter had become noticeable. Um, and then back in, uh, and then, so fast forward to 2019, in 2019, um, it was, had gotten to the point where it was absolutely protruding. Like you could see it if I just had on a t-shirt. And so it was, um, you know, I'll tell you that it got to the point where I was very self-conscious about it. I was talking to my family about it. Uh, I got a second opinion at a different doctor. They told me the exact same thing. Um, and I said, well, if nothing's wrong, why is it continuing to grow? Well, it's not growing at a, in a, at a um, rate that's concerning. So, um, and so uh, in 2019, my brother also reminded me that my father's mother also had challenges with her thyroid. And also I remember her having this huge kind of mass on her neck. And um, it was, you know, that was a difficult time. And I was asking Allah to help me find something that would allow me to live a normal life because the fatigue, the mood swings, um, all of those things kept going. They weren't, they, they didn't stop. Um, so um, fast forward through the pandemic, you know, life changed immensely, right? Not as stressful. Um, life changed because we were able to be inside. Um, the stress management, all of those things like shifted and changed. And so, um, and also in 2020, I was, um, or 2019, the end of 2019, I was blessed to join the Seventh Region Coalition to help save lives. It's a group of beautiful, um, you know, believers in the nation of Islam and in the Christian community and in the medical community and all of these different um, um, folks from around the country that are working to help keep our community who was hit so hard by the COVID-19 um, uh, uh, pandemic, keep them um, healthy and help to save lives because of, of the impact that is having in our community. So on that call, um, on one of the calls that they did, because they've done several town hall meetings, and on one of them, I saw you, Brother Eric, speak to um, the, the uh, community about uh, this product called Nature's V. And this happened maybe in, maybe in October or November of, 2000, of 2020. And it said, and what you said was, oh, that this is for um, autoimmune disease, that this helps with autoimmune disease. And I was like, what is an autoimmune disease? So I went to look it up and I found out that thyroid problems are an autoimmune disease. Who knew, right? And so like many people in our community, you know, especially because I'm an advocate in the black community, love me some black folks, love me black culture. Um, you know, I just, I love it, right? I won't, you know, I rep it forever. And so in that um, experience, I also kind of picked up some of the things like, um, you know, not going to the doctor as regularly, um, not looking after my health as well as I could. Um, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad wrote this beautiful book called How to Eat to Live. And he was like, eat one meal a day. He's like, eat these things if you want to live long. And so, you know, and when you do good, it, good is produced. And so um, in some ways, um, I was very, um, I was able to apply those things and see those results. And I was so excited. And at a certain point, though, 
nothing seemed to be helping. Um, at one point, you know, it was like full exercise for these months. Nothing changed in my weight. Um, there was, you know, fasting, which helped my overall general health and well-being. But for some reason, it was very, very difficult to get to the point where um, we were, where I was able to um, re reach my health goals. And so it got very frustrating. I got very down on myself. And so in that process, um, and in the midst of that and all the praying, um, I, I, I came upon this video um, or I was able to watch this live video. And then also another one of my sister's sister, Wanda, beautiful sister. Um, and she kind of helped me to do the research, the things that are necessary to convince myself that this could be a help for me, if nothing else, but overall wellness. So I went on the Nature's V website. I read the things. Um, I listened to YouTube videos of Dr. Akili. Um, what else? I talked to Sister Wanda, who is also on it. And she gave me such beautiful testimonials, several. I'm going to be honest with you. She gave me several before I was even convinced that that would be a thing that I would do. Um, so afterwards, um, so finally I, I ordered it and started taking it uh, around uh, the beginning of December 2020. And during that time, um, I, I was, you know, I'm like, is it medicine? Is it like, no, is it like noni, noni juice where everyone in the uh, space will be able to, uh, you know, uh, or, or you, you think that it's helping, but what it's doing is just kind of being um, like, a, like a anesthesia. Like it's just making no, you know, me not be able to feel what's going on. So I'm just very, very skeptical. There's been a lot of things that happen to promote that mistrust in our community. So first couple of days, you know, I was just worried about being consistent. And then maybe towards the second week, I realized, huh, I'm really sleeping well and sleeping through the night. So at the time that I started IB100 um, in full transparency, I also started um, taking um, a supplement of ginger and, and turmeric. Um, to kind of fight inflammation. Um, I also started taking a supplement of vitamin D, both raw organic supplements um, to, because again, my sister Wanda, she was taking it. She's having results. Let me take it too, right? And I've already taken, just be honest with you. I've taken high doses of vitamin C for long periods of time. I've taken turmeric and ginger, fresh turmeric and junior, ginger, organic, right? For what I consider long periods of time. Because um, I've been on IB uh, uh, 100 for about six weeks. I've taken, and I've also taken garlic like for a certain amount of time. Um, and so in six weeks of taking the IB 100, um, about a week ago now, well, it's been almost seven weeks, about a week ago now, I saw, I looked in the mirror and realized that I looked different, right? And I'm like, why? What's that so odd? Like, why do I, why does that look so, like, what, what is happening? I don't understand. So I looked at myself and I couldn't figure it out. So I left, the, you know, kind of still side eyeing myself throughout the rest of the, um, throughout the rest of the day. And uh, the next day, as I woke up for prayer, um, I looked and realized and put my hand on my neck and said, wow, this feels different. Because it used to feel like a golf ball and protruded just as much from my neck. And I was like, wow, this is, this is odd. And um, as I, as I felt it, it definitely was softer. It was actually, it was almost like gelatinous, right? It was, it was odd, almost like um, someone had poured something on it to make it be spongy, right? Not like a golf ball, but more like, a, I don't know, like, like, like just a gelatinous substance, right? And so I'm like, what is going on? So I got up to go look in the mirror and I realized that is because my my um, my thyroid was not protruding anymore like it was, and I looked at it and looked at it again and looked at it from the left and right and said, 
is it just my eyes deceiving me or is this real that this is not protruding like it was? So I went to my daughter, she's 16, and said, listen, look at this. Is this true? Is it that it's really not protruding? And she's like, yes, mom. Oh my God, I can't believe that it's not protruding anymore. Oh my goodness. And she gave me a high five. And I, you know, I don't know if I actually believed her. I don't know if I actually believed her, right? But I know that I talked to a friend who I hadn't seen in quite some time and said to her, um, hey, do you notice that, that my thyroid looks different? And she said, oh my God, I can tell that it's not, what did you do? Did you take some hormones? Did you take some this? Did you take some that? And I was, um, I was stunned. I was floored that this product in six weeks had done what no other thing or aided in no other thing uh, really being able to, to help. Um, I've never seen these types of results in anything else that I've tried. Um, and so I'm just so grateful to have found this product through the seventh region coalition and to be able to find the research online and to find the different things that have, um, helped to make me feel healthier. So that was the like first major thing. And as I look back, I would also have to say that. I also feel um, much more energy. I sleep well, have so much more energy. Um, I, and I know this is going to sound a little strange, right? But I'm going to say it anyway. I <laughs> have um, a different relationship with my body, meaning that there's this voice that says to me, a very strong one, don't eat that, don't drink that, right? And, and maybe it's a combination of having more rest, um, having less stress, eating better, feeling more energy. So, for instance, one of the major things that happened is that I stopped drinking coffee. I stopped drinking coffee while in uh, 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 quarantine or actually during this two weeks after I stopped drinking coffee. And I was trying to figure out. So I picked up the cup. And something really said to me, no, that's not what you want to put in your mouth. And I'm like, why? I've been drinking coffee for years. What's the deal? Don't put that in your mouth. And so because everything else is doing well, I said, okay, I'll listen. I won't do that. Maybe that's just not a thing I'm supposed to have. So I stopped that, stopped the caffeine. Two weeks later, that coffee was smelling so amazing. So amazing. So I tried to like, so I, so I tried a little bit of it and it was like toxin in my system. Right. And and um, and the very interesting thing was that, you know, just as it came in, it was, you know, it was gone. And um, I listened to what my body was telling me that this was not a thing for me. Maybe somebody else's blood type, maybe somebody else's experience. But, you know, that that wasn't a thing for me. And it felt like because I can get more rest, because I have a general like there's no mood like up and downs and ups and downs, especially during the pandemic. Um, because all of those things are controlled by the thyroid. I had no idea. All of those things. So um, that it was easier for me to hear what that voice inside was telling me about my own health. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure that I shared that for anybody who is experiencing or anything like me, right? <laughs> Anyone who experiences is, um, you know, a, a, a mistrust um, of, you know, these systems, a mistrust, and, you know, a very well-earned mistrust. But here's a thing that really helped me to um, get a handle or is helping me, because I'll say I'm in chapter one, helping me to get a handle on my health and the way that I, I deal with my health in conjunction with how to eat to live, right? Made... May, because my body was my body was sick, my body was not functioning well, and it makes it so much easier to follow how to eat to live when those severe things are taken care of. And you know, I've never heard this on any. I've never seen this on any shelf in any store, right? I've never seen this. Um, and you know, I, I don't know if people want you to know that uh, for you know two hundred two hundred bucks a month, you can have such a 
um, uh, intense effect on your health, right? And such a in such a major companion to our how to eat to live. Um, the other thing I realized is that the thyroid has everything to do with your weight loss. So if your hormones are not in 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 balance, you are not going to lose the weight. So regardless of how many uh, one meals a day and all of these other things that will happen in that beautiful navy bean that you're eating, if your hormones are not in a position where you can deal with it and your body can react properly, your immune system can react properly, then it then it pulls all the progress and makes it look like naught, right? Um, so I just want to make sure I shared that, Brother Eric. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share um, because it's been impactful. You know, uh, inshallah, I would love to come back in 30 days, tell you how we're doing and in, in 90 days and tell you how how things are going um, and uh, to continue to bear witness to um, to this to, on my journey. I can't hear you, brother. I think you're on mute. I muted myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we thank you for uh, your review of IB100 made by LSOW Inc., uh, distributed by natures-v.com. We hope that the, this video will help others see that the new health paradigm is given to us by Mr. Victor Muhammad, where the body being put back into homeostasis by a exogenous source of a immune modulator called IB100 can actually help people like yourselves regain that life and that vigor that you were looking for. So we'll thank you for your, your review. And if you have any questions, please go to natures, N-A-T-U-R-E-S dash V.com or just put natures space V into your Google search engine. It'll be the first one to pop up under immunotherapy. We thank all of you for tuning in. And we thank you, most of all, sister, for giving us your testimony about the product, IB100. You have a wonderful day, and may God continue to bless you. You too, big brother. Thank you. You're welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.